It's a crisp, clear night out there, but it's going to change once we get later in the week. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. We do have this coastal storm Thursday into Friday morning. I did bump up our threat for rainfall flooding from a low to a moderate here, and that's because we are expecting to see over an inch of rain for many of us. We'll talk about that in just a minute. We do have a gale watch in effect for everywhere offshore, both in the Atlantic Ocean and in the Delaware Bay from 6 p.m. to Thursday to 6 p.m. on Friday. That's where we're going to see those howling winds here across the area. Looking at our radar and temperatures here on our Tuesday evening, it's a very complex low pressure system that will be impacting our area eventually. But you see that line of rain from the deep south into about Chicago. And then you see a line of snow going into Minnesota and into the Dakotas as well. And a lot of cold air on that northern and western side of the storm here. For us, it does look to be cold with high pressure in charge for now. Eventually that low pressure will work itself in. So when we look at tonight, low temperatures here going to be around 32 at the coast. Make your way inland. I even think some of these numbers are a little high. We'll probably be around 20 in Hamilton. EHT more around 25. But the point is, it's a clear night. Then as we go into Wednesday here, that's when we are going to see cloud cover build in ahead of that storm. Temperatures actually bottom out around 32, well inland on Thursday morning. And you see a little bit of snow making its way into places like Greenwich and Stowe Creek. Yes, it is possible we'll see some snow there, but it's going to be plain rain for most of us. You see temperatures just well above freezing by 5.30 a.m. By 7.30 a.m., that snow and mix probably going to be out of here. Start time does look to be during the early to mid-morning on Thursday. And then as we get towards noon and 1 o'clock, we're well into the 40s, even getting into the 50s in spots. It's a soaking rain for the afternoon and evening. Snow in the northern part of the state, north of I-78. And then we get some very heavy rain on Thursday evening. We could even see a rumble of thunder and hear a rumble of thunder, I should say, as well during this time. That steady rain ends around midnight, but showers are going to continue into Friday morning. Probably not getting out of here until the afternoon and still can't even roll out a shower at that. So it's a very slow moving system here. And as a result of this slow moving system, rainfall tolls, we're, we're bumping up here. I'm going to go over an inch for all of us here, an inch to an inch and a half for most this computer model here wants to get down township up to two. Point is, when you get over an inch of rain, there's usually going to be some flooding issues separate from the tidal flooding that we will see. Now, here's a look at our winds coming from the east, and they're really going to pick up during the evening. The worst of the storm is going to be Thursday evening with the rain, the wind, and eventually the tidal flooding overnight here. Sustained winds 25 to 30 miles an hour at the shore, 15 to 25 inland here, and gusts will be in the 40s to near 50 at the shore. So a little bit of wind damage and power outage is certainly possible during this time. By Friday at 6 a.m., wind's still howling in Ocean County, but calming over us. That's because the low pressure system's going over us. So just like the eye of the storm with a hurricane, it gets calm. Same concept with your run-in-the-mill coastal storm, and then they all turn to the west as we go into Friday afternoon. We do have that tidal flight to talk about Friday during the early morning and then again during the afternoon. Here's a look at what we see in Cape May. This should be minor flood state. So Sunset Boulevard, partially submerged underwater. Winter Avenue, some water as well. We go over to Atlantic City. Not that bad in this area that we're pointing out, but there are some streets in Venice Park, as well as when you get off of Epsecan Boulevard, that can certainly flood. So for tonight, we're going to see low temperatures in the 20s, just about everywhere here, 30 along the coast in some spots, depending on where you are. Your bus stop forecast looking like this as we go into your Wednesday. It's a chilly start. It is December after all. It's a clear sky turning into a sunny morning here over at the shore. Kind of the same story. We'll get the freezing by 32, but as we go into Wednesday, it's going to be a day that's about 5 degrees below average for this time of the year here with a northwesterly wind. Then as we go into Wednesday night, clouds build in. Winds will turn to the north and then eventually the east. And then we do have that storm as we go into Thursday. It does look like Friday. Some showers completely not a washout, though. And then the weekend, definitely dry, but cold as we go into Sunday. That's our first night of Hanukkah here. 39 degrees for our high. And we are getting into a pattern. We've been saying this on Snow Search, that as we get into this week and into next weekend and next week, this is when we're going to really start to see that true winter feel here in South Jersey. Well, a full update for you on the storm on our 
uh, for, excuse me, our Wednesday morning. You can find that on our website at pressofac.com slash weather.